going on everybody here to do another tag video this is underrated youtubers uh, I think it's gurus tag uh, so I said I, I'm bringing back old school me so vintage drink that Chris White Concord grape yes yes <clears throat> and that right there is truly vintage me. All right, so <clears throat> question number one, first person that came to mind when you heard about the name of this tag, it would have to be the Ghetto View because uh, I actually saw her do the video first. So uh, yeah, the Ghetto View, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, <clears throat> and also I will leave a, um, a, a link to each person's page uh, respectively with these questions so you will have the questions and then right below each question <clears throat> you'll have uh, the person's name and a link to uh, their channel and or particular video um, if I, I I think there's a specific video whatever so you can go check those individuals out you know uh, question number two <clears throat> someone that reminds you of yourself it's a toss-up between two people what Lady Nika and Sayshawn Bradley. It is a toss up between the two of them, and here's why. <clears throat> In terms of pure fucking comedy, you know what I'm saying? The sh first and foremost, uh, like, especially when Lady Nika, when she's doing her uh, her story times, I'm telling y'all, whooping ass at a repass. <laughs> I <fu> we talked about that shit. She and I, we was on the phone talking about it. I'm just like, you will be as a relax. I I don't know which one I enjoy most. If it was that one, her and the Walmart, or her and uh, well, when Viagra goes wrong, or at, you know what? Even the whole the whole one when she was in group. I don't know, but it's like just the whole comedic side of her. <clears throat> even the comedic side of Sean, um, the giddiness, the goofiness. Um, just the rash, harsh in your face, and sometimes just giving it shit to you, you know, straight, you know, just like straight up with you. It is what it is. <clears throat> like, and here's the thing I mean, Sean really don't drink, but how often do y'all see Lady Nika and she ain't got and she ain't sipping on something? Don't worry, I will. <laughs> how often when you see her, she probably ain't got something lit up. <laughs> And like I said, she be, she, here's the, she want to sit here and say, I slick Shady Reed, she does the same as that shit too. And the funny thing is, I think after, you know, she's been really watching a lot of my videos, she starts, like, she's getting, like, because I'll admit it, I do in my videos, like, I'll sit here and I'll say some shit. No, like, it's one of those ways, like, I'm straight faced with it and move on to the next damn thing. She's starting to do it now. So, yeah, I called you out, but... Uh, it's not just one, but those two, Seishan Bradley and Ali Nika, reminds me a lot of my fucking self. Um, <clears throat> some of you watch for entertainment, Alex Rogers. Like, that That goes without fucking saying. Like, trust me, when I want some fucking entertainment, all I gotta do is just go to one of his, go to his channel and just pick a damn video. You feel what I'm saying? By far, my two favorite videos, actually my three favorite videos from him, and I think I actually did this in a separate uh, YouTube video, was um, <clears throat> when he showed you how to dress up like Nene Leakes, when he did his holiday special where he turned into Nene Leakes, <laughs> that shit was hilarious. And when he was doing uh, his trending topics video, and he was talking about Janet Jackson's uh, first song off the album, how it was lackluster. He's like, I'm gonna give it a listen. He was like, ooh, I, can, I think he said I can I don't know. He could dance to it, and the next thing you know, he twerking on the motherfucking couch. I nip out, fell the fuck out because I wasn't expecting it. So, if I want to watch somebody for a laugh, it's fucking Alex Rogers. And when I say his reads be quick, smooth, on point, and it's not for it's one of those where it just rolls off the fucking tongue. Like, this boy is fucking hilarious. You feel what I'm saying? And it's one of those where even in a two minute clip, you're going to get your life. I'm not. Has he, and I think he's even done videos shorter than that. You, you, all you gotta do is press play. You gonna get your life. Um, <clears throat> some with, with uh, incredible style, Forest Rocks. On some real shit, I have yet to see a video of her <clears throat> and she not put the fuck together. You see her ass on camera, she put the fuck together. And her, like I said, I mean, granted, I'm a dude, so of course I don't wear women's clothing. 
Uh, no shade to anybody that does. Just said I don't. And like I said, I dress very fucking basic. You not finna catch all for us rocks basic. You not. You not. You not. All right. Uh, someone with flawless makeup, <clears throat> socialite Sandy. And, and weirdly enough, between the first, between style and uh, hair makeup, actually I can interchange Forest Rocks and Socialize Sandy. <clears throat> I said, I mean, Socialize Sandy, I mean, every now and then she'll do just like a review where she's just in her living room, just, you know, just straight up how it is. And I mean, even when she's sending you through uh, her hair journey and whatnot, you know, she's a natural beauty to me. But <clears throat> when she come, when she come on, she'd be a book. So socialize Sandy. Uh some with perfect hair, some more love. Like <clears throat> she does wigs and all this other stuff. Again, I've yet to see her on a video. And I mostly you know, like I said, she does uh hair and makeup. I mostly watch her for uh, her show reviews. <clears throat> but again, I've yet to see her not put the fuck together. I've yet to not see it. Like her head be on point. Uh someone with fewer subscribers than you, <clears throat> Callie Butterfly. And like I said, you know, you can check her out. Like I said, she's just, you know, real soft, real cool. I mean, there's been a few times you can kind of see, you know, just like that turn up come out of her, which is like, I'm doing a video, like close it up, like some shit like that. But overall, like she's real calm. She one of those where, I mean, shit, I imagine you can sit here and smoke a blunt with her. And shit, y'all just like, hey, cause she, like the amount of cool she is, just like imagine people that, they be smoking a blunt and how they be, she's like she's that level of cool. I, I like Cali Butterfly, I do. Someone with more subscribers than you, I already said it. Socialized Sandy, like she got boo boo fucking subscribers, and really, and on some real shit, she is humble. And <clears throat> like I said, she, <clears throat> uh, when she has deals and whatnot, when she's doing prior reviews, you know, she get uh, puts promo codes and whatnot down there. Like, I fucking love her. <clears throat> Someone uh, channel you just subscribed to, Natural Post Sister TV, I just subscribed to her. Like, no shit today. Um, like I said, and, it's, and like I said, mostly people that do reviews, I'm going to check their, check their stuff out. And I just like her. I mean, you know, she's like real cool, real chill. <clears throat> Someone with the most potential to grow, I'm going to say Nay's way. But the one thing about her is like, if there was ever someone on YouTube, because <clears throat> there's her and there's another YouTube, but he has a whole lot of YouTube, a lot of subscribers, so I ain't going to talk about him. But she's, when I, she is straight talk, no fucking chaser. Like, for real, for real, like. She gonna tell it to you how the fuck it is. And it's one of those where you have to ask yourself, can you truly stomach it? And you know, one thing about YouTube is, like I said, we all do our videos and whatnot, and a lot of what we say is our opinion. But for her, she gonna give it to you. <clears throat> and I am like that. I don't do those type of videos by virtue of what I do. You know, and the last thing I wanna do is sit here and be my militant self. <laughs> And I get my ass in a whole lot of fucking trouble, you feel what I'm saying? But like I said, I love that about her. Like I said, straight up, you watch her, it is what it is. And for what it's worth, she's very unapologetic. I love that about her too. And wild card. <clears throat> well, I gotta throw out three names. Um Say Sean Bradley, you know. <clears throat> it's just one of those where, like I said, I, I like I said, I love him. Like I said, he has actually I'm gonna give you four names. He has, uh, like I said, a great, great spirit about him. And he cuts up <laughs> in his fucking videos. Like, I used to be watching him just like, I cannot fuck with your ass today. <laughs> but I fucking love him. I do, like I said, he is cool as shit. Um, who else? Squeaky Jones. <clears throat> um, yeah, like I said, I said, I love Squeak. I talk to Squeak quite a bit and she was like the first person to ever fucking shout me out and it threw me the fuck off because I had to replay that fucking video like, did she just say my name? Did she just say my name? <laughs> like I was fucking, I was fucking floored but <clears throat> she's another. Go give it to your ass straight. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> and if you don't believe me, either go back and watch her videos from uh, Focus February last year or better yet, stay tuned because she's going to do Focus February again this year. <clears throat> And if and here's the thing, you you want to talk about straight up? She gonna give it to you straight up. Um, James Colwell. I mean, it's one of those ways. Like, if you watch James, you will know. <clears throat> like, he does tag videos. You know, want to get you know to let you further connect with him. Uh, he has survived cancer. He even uh, cry, you know, uh, cry, 
he took you on the damn journey because I, I can't use the big word right now. He took you on the journey. He was even in the damn hospital, you know, with with that uh, silver bitch on it, on you know, taking up camera space. But <clears throat> great spirit, like I said, when he's on stage performing, can't tell me he ain't doing his motherfucking thing. All right, I fucking love. And here's the thing, James is another motherfucker that is un that is unapologetic. Truly, <laughs> fucking love James. I do. <clears throat> and here's the thing, some real shit though. James be getting my ass together too. <laughs> Actually, shit, most of my YouTube family they they be they be quick to get my ass together, you know. Cause I, like I said, I mean, although I am innocent, I like to play innocent a lot of time, and they clock me on that shit all the fucking time. <clears throat> and um, the last last thing I want to last thing I want to say is uh, D Miss uh, Isaiah Parker. <clears throat> He's one of those where I mean, again, he gonna say what the fuck is on his mind. Again, he is very unapologetic, but you know, D Miss is one of those where it's like <clears throat> you have to be able to appreciate the satire and just his level of thinking. And sometimes he's gonna post some stuff that's probably gonna have you be like, wait, whoa, 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 what the fuck? I wasn't expecting it. But I love his honesty and I mean I love the fact that you know he will sit here and he will mix uh comedy and satire with, you know, real life shit. I fucking love it, you know. So <clears throat> yeah. That's all that I have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So uh, that's all that I have. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.